use wrestling as an art, as an escape for people to be able to go out and just escape reality for a little bit, you know, just enjoy the show, have a good time, get pulled in by all of the stories that we're telling, you know, through our art and, you know, just try to spread positivity. You know, that's kind of what we like to do. Um, that's why I do what I love to do. You know, uh, I try to inspire and hopefully that's what we do whenever we put on our shows. Yvadi native Elijah Galindo, known as King Cobra in the wrestling ring, is taking his love for the sport to the next level. His team, which is called Next Level Wrestling, puts on live free shows in Uvalde and San Antonio, something they've been doing since the pandemic. I've met so many kids and a lot of times too, whenever they uh, they actually run up to me sometimes at HEB like, oh my gosh, you're King Cobra. And I've even had that happen to me. Actually, now that I live in San Antonio, uh, I've had that happen to me in San Antonio, which is crazy because, you know, San Antonio is such a big city. You wouldn't expect someone from like Uvalde or from Carrizo, Crystal City, like the surrounding towns to come up to you, say, I saw you at a show out in Uvalde. That's just crazy. I started wrestling about 2019. I actually was trained by WWE superstar Seth Rollins. Uh, that's actually my trainer. Uh, I went out, trained with him for about three months graduated on my birthday. I thought that was really cool. Ever since then, you know, um, it all really started, you know, whenever I was five years old with the dream. I, I like to think that we get into wrestling, we hear about it, but some people, they outgrow it. You know, that's perfectly cool. But it was one of those things that I never really outgrew. Just one of those things I was like, I feel like I'd be good at this. For Galindo, or King Cobra, sharing his passion with his community brings him the ultimate joy. Following the tragedy in Uvalde, the goal for Galindo and his team is to continue to lift spirits through positivity, fun storylines, and paying tribute in their own way. Uvalde hasn't forgotten, you know, your loved ones, your community hasn't forgotten. You know, I know it's not much. We always try to pay tribute to our hometown. We have the Uvalde 21 even engraved on our belts. Um, I even have, you know, wrestling gear that has that was inspired by um, by one of the, you know, one of the 21 angels. Um, he was, uh, I actually knew him personally. His name was Uzi, Uzi. Um, and his favorite superhero was Spider-Man. My favorite superhero is Spider-Man. I'm really close with the family. And um, I actually had Spider-Man gear that was made um, and it actually has the U21. So uh, we haven't forgotten and that's why I hope that what we do, not only in the wrestling ring, but also putting on these shows and, you know, trying to create family friendly environments for, you know, everyone to go out and enjoy, just, even if it's just for a few hours, like I said earlier, just to escape reality, have a great time, have fun, create memories. I hope that, you know, we are doing new justice, anything we could do to spread positivity.